Welcome to this QuickBooks 2018 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I wanted to show you how to use your check register here and show you a quick tip on uh, something you can do day to day that will help make your bank reconciliations much, much easier at the end of the month. Okay. All right. So here we are on the home screen. And what I'm going to do is you'll look over here, you're going to see check register. Okay, so if you click on check register, you're going to select the account. So in this one, it's a checking account. All right, we're going to pull that up. Now, you check register is just like, you know, if you used a paper checkbook. All right, this is just like when you write down all the transactions. All right, so it's going to keep track of all your deposits and payments and checks and all that kind of stuff. And it gives you your running balance. All right. Now, a couple things that I want to show you here. You've got a couple of options down here. One, you can look at it with one line, which is the way I prefer to look at it because it's just, for me, it's easier to read. If you want to uncheck this box, uh, then you can show it with two lines. Or yours may show two lines and you want to go to one line. All right, the two lines just gives you a little bit more information. Okay, you can put a memo in here and it shows the account. Uh, if you have one line, it's going to put the account over here and it doesn't show the memo line, uh, but it shows check number, who it's paid to, the amount, etc. All right. You can also sort this by cleared status, amount, all sorts of things. And if you need to split a transaction, which means you're going to put it to more than one account, you can click the splits. And let's say this was 789. Uh, you could put, you know, the first account to 689, the second account to 100. All right. So we want to close this. All right. Now, the big thing here that I want to show you is when see these stars right here. OK, the asterisk. OK, we've got that. And if I scroll up, you're going to see the check mark. OK, so what that means, the check mark means that this was reconciled through the bank reconciliation process in QuickBooks. All right, so you went to uh, you went to banking, you went to reconcile, you reconciled the account. Now these asterisks here, what that means is that they have cleared. All right, okay. So the the, the difference between is that the clearing means that it has cleared the bank. Okay, so these transactions have cleared, but you haven't yet reconciled the account. All right. So what we do with clients and what I do in my own QuickBooks is I will clear these out sometimes on a daily basis if I'm watching cash uh, or it could be a weekly basis, whatever the case may be. But I will clear those so that I know that, OK, if I look at my cleared balance here, my bank balance should be nine, five, four, four, ten. But my QuickBooks balance is 1837033. Okay. And the reason there's a difference is because of all these uncleared transactions. And so I'll go into my online banking each day, see what has cleared the bank. So if we say these cleared, what you can do is you can check right here and you're going to get this warning that says, Hey, if you clear this in your register, they're not connected to account statement, et cetera, unless you've properly reconciled your account. That's okay. What you can do is click, do not uh, display this again. Click yes. Okay. So it's going to default with the check mark. You don't want to put the check mark. You want to click it again and it's going to put the star. All right. And then I can go to the next one. Okay. And you hit save. Okay. Then I'm going to go to this one. Check mark, star, cleared the bank. Okay, I can click record. Yes. Let's say this one cleared. Okay. So what I'll do is, you know, it could be every day. First thing you do is just go to the online banking, see what cleared. Mark this as cleared in the register. Okay, so when you go to do your bank reconciliation, okay, uh, we'll just put 5,000. Okay, you're going to see it's going to show these as already cleared. All right. And it's going to make your bank reconciliation much, much easier at the end of the month. It's going to save you lots and lots of time. Okay. So if you spend five minutes a day or, you know, uh, 20 minutes a week going through and checking those off, this is going to save you a bunch of time at the end of the month. 
All right. For more QuickBooks training with uh, QuickBooks Desktop, QuickBooks Online, head on over to the QuickBooks University where uh, as a member uh, and with the training tutorials, uh, I also offer personal support and uh, would love to have you over there and join us. It's at qbuniversity.org.